Hey guys, how's it going? I just did my blitz warm up and I was pretty happy. So let's see if we play well in rapid. All right, we're in the London system. My opponent has made a very normal first move. I'm glad to see it. Bringing the knight out first. Okay, c6. That's that's an interesting choice. Um, we're just going to play e3 as usual. I'm really kind of interested in the Jolbava right now. Just because he's going to have to play an a6 move to stop my knight coming in. I think. Well, I guess he could also push here. Let's go for it. He misses it. So now... Oh, wait. No, he's not. He's just going to... Bring his rook over. Never mind. Never mind. All righty. <sighs> Let's see. He might be thinking the same thing now. <laughs> oh, great. What do I do now? Let's see. Should I just offer a bishop trade? I'm going to start with this. I feel like it's still a decent move. And then I can do the old C4 trick. That will let me get my knight behind my pawn instead of blocking my pawn. Some people don't even find this move. Since he's not playing it immediately, that's that's a good sign for me. That is a good sign. Guys, it can be tough to find if you haven't faced this attack in the London. I mean, it's much more common in the Italian game, but um, the line for that is totally different in the London. Like, this move... I guess it's a move, but it is just going to lose a pawn and make this knight move. So it's not great, as far as I know. Oh boy. What would I do if he completely ignores my attack and does the same thing to me? You know what's interesting? <laughs> I would probably play... Would I play rook c1? But then he can take this pawn. I don't know, guys. This is weird. Oh, goodness. Hold on. I just noticed something. Since he hasn't pushed his e-pawn, when I put him in check, he has to move his king this way. Which means I can jump out and pin his knight. Or if he were to jump... Okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. So if he tries the same thing, like copycat, I check. He's forced out. I have another check. And he can't, he can't go here, so he either has to put his king on e6 or back here to c8. Oh, he finds it. Good for him. All right, so now I'm just going to play c4 and probably jump back pretty quickly. I'm not sure what the best continuation is for white here. All right, so he's probably thinking about pinning my knight. That's fine. That is fine. We're going to bring our knight out, and let's see if we can get our other trick that we've learned recently in here. Nope. Challenge the bishop. All right. So I want to grab that pawn, move my bishop, and castle. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, what am I supposed to do here again? See, if I go here and he takes... Uh, I don't know. Man, I messed up. If he takes the pawn, it, I think it's a mistake because I bring my queen here. We're hitting the knight, and now we have a double attack on the bishop, so we should pick up the pawn again. Okay. I'm down a pawn. Man, guys. Yeah, this... This um, c4 pawn, when I take, I always forget that the knight can recapture, and that hits my bishop. And in this case, it's also a fork, which, yeah, very annoying. So in the game review, that's something I want to look at for sure. Most people will take the bishop. From what I'm familiar with. And there we go. He's probably going to jump right back here, attacking my poor bishop again. I guess I need to drop back. I don't really have anything better that I can see. Uh, castle, and I'm just down a pawn, guys. I'm losing. Losing this game for sure. I messed up. That, that, pawn, that pawn capture was not good. But, yeah, I've... Uh, I never know how to get my bishop out after playing c4 if they don't take, because if I put my bishop on d3 and then they capture my c4 pawn, then I have to move my bishop again. It feels like I'm losing a tempo. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it feels like. You know, maybe I should have just pushed. That's what I'm going to look at in game review. My question for game review is, do I just push to c5 and then bring my bishop out? All right, so what are some ideas? Knight over. I want to get my queen here. And then attack the pawn, I guess. That's the only real idea I have right now. Now there's a weak pawn that over that way. Never mind. There's an undefended knight. If I attack the knight, where can he go? Can't go here. Can't go here. Can't go here. So he has to either move backwards or to the side. Or he can defend it. So if I attack the, the knight, that's probably a decent move. Then there's my other plan that I was talking about of moving my queen, but that seems slow. He's pushing these pawns. Let's let's attack the knight. It also gives me a double attack on the pawn if the knight moves, but of course that pawn is defended three times, so that's probably not going to accomplish much. Now I can also kick out this knight though, so that removes one defender. Ooh, wait, if he moves this knight, I can jump in here. Interesting. If I jump here...
I kind of like this idea. Make this knight move. Where is he going to go? Or do I bring in this knight right away? Let me think. What's the future for this knight? It's not an outpost. He can get kicked out right away. Where would I move? I can't go here. Yeah, I can go here. I can go here. That That is a fork. And if he recaptures, I get my rook in and I'm hitting this pawn. That's really interesting. Then if he moves his his rook to defend the pawn, now suddenly my double attack works. Oh wait, no, I have to kick out this guy first. All right, I'm going to go for it. I kind of like that idea. So kind of force a trade. Then I go here. If he pushes the pawn, he drops this guy. So that doesn't work. Uh, oops. If he defends, then he drops this. Whoops. He drops, yeah. Okay, he's kicking me out. That takes away a square from his knight, which might be useful soon. But, oh, hold on. I could also kick his knight out. No, that drops a pawn. So yeah, here we go. We're forcing this trade. He could just move his queen. But... That feels a little weird, doesn't it? Another benefit of kicking out this knight is going to be that my queen can head over this way more easily. All right, that's what I wanted to happen. Now we're hitting a pawn. And we have renewed our double attack here. It just depends how he defends that pawn. If I take, if he lets me take it, I'll take it, no question. That would be fantastic. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. No, 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 okay. If he defends, I kick out the knight. If the knight goes here attacking... Wait a second. Oh, that drops this pawn. Actually, guys, we have a fork. I just... <laughs> look at that, I just noticed we have a fork. That's fantastic. So I think we are going to win a pawn back here. It's just a matter of which one he defends. He could do this. He could push. He could defend this guy. But I, I don't think he can defend both. Hmm, interesting. Now, another idea is just to keep building up pressure. If I move my rook over, we have three attackers on the pawn. And then if I bring my queen down, we have four. But we all have to study the order of operations here because my queen is in front of my rook, which means the queen is not the last attacker, which means it could end up being a bad trade for us. Oh, and he can add another defender, no problem. But then when we kick out the knight, I think we have to win the pawn, right? So this might be the idea. We might win one of these pawns and then just come right back and win this pawn. Rook over, push the pawn, bye-bye.
I have to say, pushing this F pawn to kick out my knight, that might be something I would do during a game. And right here, I'm really seeing how weakening that was. Because now he's got two pawns hanging. Guys, I'm going to grab a refill and be right back. My opponent's thinking for quite a while, so I'm going to pause anyway. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So my opponent moved his knight. Interesting. Very interesting. So I can grab this pawn... Or I can double up my rooks. He would have to defend. Then I... Ooh. Wait a minute. Take... Oh, gosh. What's his plan here, guys? Jumping in here just drops the pawn. It doesn't seem to accomplish much. Jumping here, back to where he came from doesn't accomplish anything. Jumping here doesn't accomplish anything. Is he just blocking this pawn? But I don't like that move because it took away a defender of this pawn. He hasn't realized yet that I have the ability to put a lot of pressure on that pawn. Right? Here and here. Or, sorry. Um, here or here, I guess. So that might be really good for us. I think I'm going to grab this pawn is pinned because it's the only, oh, it's not pinned. Oh my goodness. He's going to be able to push this pawn and my pawn is pinned. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. Let's, we need to think about this more. All right. If I take this pawn and he pushes here. I obviously can't take because I lose my queen. So if I put if I take the pawn and he goes here, I obviously cannot take the knight because it's defended. So what's the next move for us to look at? Take the pawn, he pushes this guy. I think what I would really consider is setting up a discovered check. That feels like a decent move, but he can just push this pawn, hitting my queen, and there's not much I can do about that except move my queen. And then he's got a passed pawn, protected. That, dude, my opponent thought for over three minutes, and I think that might have been an unbelievable move. That's crazy. Okay, so what about... Yeah, we might have to abandon that idea. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I can't... I don't think I can take this pawn. If I bring my rook over, though... We've got three attackers. He has two defenders. So he brings a third defender. Well, then I attack again. And he has to go here to add a fourth defender. At that point, I can grab this pawn. Now, when he does this move... First of all, my queen is no longer in line. Oh, wait a minute. My queen gets hit, so I, I should go back this way. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Let's, let's recap and put this all together. Uh, bring the rook over. He defends. What if he defends with the knight? What if he changes his mind? Then I grab... He does this old, tr the same old trick. Now my queen can just take this pawn and get out of the line of sight. That seems, 
And then we have a battery set up with my rook and my queen. No, we don't. My queen is here. Forgot. Mm, that looks more promising. So I think I'm changing it up, guys. I think I'm going to do this move. And we're just going to put pressure on this pawn. We have, we can summon four attackers. He can summon four defenders. But moving one of those, or getting one of those defenders in place drops the pawn. That's what I'm hoping is going to work out. I'm going to assume he takes, or sorry, adds the rook defender because he doesn't want to waste his time. Like, that would be kind of weird if he just moved his knight back. That's a, even if it is a good move, that's tough to find. It also unpins my pawn. Right? So if he does eventually push that pawn, I can take. No problem. Interesting. Wow, looking at the time, it felt like my opponent was thinking forever. I just thought for two minutes more. What the heck? Okay, I need to pick up the pace. I don't want to lose this game on time. I lost my second blitz game. Well, I didn't lose, but it was a draw, even though I had an overwhelming material advantage just because I ran out of time. My opponent had a king and a bishop. I had... Wait a minute. Did he have a... Was it a draw or did I lose? Because I thought he also had some pawns. I don't remember now. But bottom line, I lost on time. Guys, I just realized another thing. Now that I have the rook here, if I grab this pawn, I can take with my rook. I don't have to worry about that pawn coming forward. What? Okay. He's just giving up the pawn? Really? I kind of want to bring my rook up and make his queen move again. That would also let me get my queen behind both of my rooks, which could be which could be good. Now, with his queen on this light square, there's no there's no immediate back rank that I need to worry about. So, what are my options? Take take He's going to move his knight, though, at some point. If I grab with the bishop, I'm hitting the knight. So he's going to probably move his knight here, which disconnects my rooks. Oh my gosh. But I always have this move to attack his queen, too. If I put my rook here, where does his queen go? No, 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 no. So he could go here, 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 or backwards. I kind of like, well, if he, bring, if he goes down here, that, that is a little scary. I would need to do something. Oh, wait. All right, I'm going to do it. We're going to... Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. If I take, the knight is going to move. 
Then I make the queen move. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm going to make the queen move first. That keeps my rooks together because I was just thinking if he puts his knight here and disconnects my rooks, my bishop is kind of pinned. If I move back to here, my pawn is pinned. He, if he can somehow take my rook, this pawn is still pinned again because of this. So I really should keep my rooks together. Whew. Crazy game. If he comes down this way, that's honestly pretty scary because then there is a back rank issue. I would need to give my king an escape square, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I... Oh, that can't be good. Now he only has two defenders, but I have three attackers. That was his first blunder. So I'm going to take, which hits the rook, hits the queen, right? Take. We're going to just make his queen move again. Yeah, that was definitely a blunder. So that's a fork. You have to take, it's essentially forced. I don't think he even has a check that he can give in this position, so. I guess he could just move his queen. What? Okay. That's a weird one. Think we might get a resignation now. That could not have been intentional. There's no way. He played it relatively fast, but I don't I don't know what I don't know what that was, guys. That was a good game. A lot of nice calculation there. Let's see if I was right about any of it. <laughs> um, looks like I was losing for most of the game. Well, yeah, I was a pawn down. So let's see quickly where it all went wrong. So these moves are not great. I thought this Jobava attack would be pretty strong because he's already committed his knight. But since he moved his bishop, it no longer works. I, I actually forgot about this myself. It's what I always do if, if black does the knight attack. But yeah, I messed that up. It's a good move, but it's not good. I should have just developed. Yep, great move. Hey, so this was the right idea. Bring my knight back behind the sea pawn. And yeah, look at that. I should have just pushed the pawn. That's going to let my bishop come out at some point. Okay, so best move is pin the knight, but I bet this is going to be not... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, rook c1, rook uh, knight d2. That's an odd one. Oh, defending the pawn? Kind of makes sense. Uh, this is weird. And guys, I have to say, st um, Stockfish has been downgraded on chess.com. I don't know if you're aware of this. They're, they're back to using Stockfish 11 because they claim Stockfish 15 was causing chrome to crash now i don't know if i believe that or at least i don't know why they didn't drop back to like stockfish 14 because i'm pretty sure lee chess is still using that and not having issues but i'm not 100 percent sure about that maybe lee chess also changed anyway i don't know if i fully believe this evaluation anyway All right. Whew, yeah, we're just down a pawn. Excellent move. 
So I was right. The, the C takes was a mistake, but finding that bishop move was weird. Like, okay, it pins the knight, but so what? I'm going to get kicked out very soon. So it's kind of weird. Don't know what lesson to draw from that. Now here, our plan is coming to fruition. You can see the eval has already changed, meaning this pawn fork was a good idea. Oh, and look at that. Doubling up was the right idea and kicking out the queen. So guys, let's look and see what I was worried about. If I just took here, it's not good. E5, hold on. Okay, I want to look at a couple different things. First of all, if I were to take this pawn, c6, not c5 like I was looking at, but c6 is an idea, so is queen d5. I think he wanted to get in like that, right? c6, I don't really understand. Does it just trap my rook or something? That is kind of miserable. Look at that. I can't take. I can't back up too far. Ooh. So taking that pawn is not good. This move I'm very proud of. I figured if I take. I was worried about him coming in like this, but apparently that's not what to be what I should be worried about. I should be worried about trading off rooks. Surely we're going to see this at some point. E4. Okay, well, it's not a great move, not a bad move. It's something we could have seen, and then I would have to worry about the back rank and control, you know, babysitting the pawn. He's got a 2v1. It's not pleasant for, for white, in my opinion. All right, anyway, guys, but then we saw this terrible blunder and, of course, got a resignation. So hope you enjoyed that game. A lot of calculation there. It was kind of fun. We didn't even get to an end game, but, hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.